Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I show you anything life skilling. My name is Teddy, and today it's time to head to the mountain of Eternal Winter region to tackle those dailies and try to show you a faster way to do them. So, if you enjoy completing quests and earning easy contribution, let's get into this. To start out with the Mountain of Eternal Winter Daily, simply open your quest, hit the recurring tab, and scroll down to the Mountain of Eternal Winter Dailies. There are 31 here, but not all of them are going to be done since this is the Black Desert Life Hack Channel. <laughs> all jokes aside, we are going to focus on the life skilling dailies here and not the combat dailies. The first daily is Think Outside the Citron Box. This can be accepted here at the Citron Orchard. If you're doing the Elden dailies, this can be accepted after accepting Best Fruit of Everfrost, which leads you to the Orchard. This quest has you cut snowfield cedar logs and chop them down to five planks. This can be completed here using these two trees to speed it up. After completing, it's time to head to the Charbonneau's Charcoal Workshop here. Taking the daily operation cleaning out Frost-Tailed Weasels has you kill five Frost-Tailed Weasels close by. The next dailies are located here in Windmill's Perch. Accepting Medicine for Noel has you collect five spotted Amanita. Savory Mesima Tea here has you collect five Mesima. And finally, Spoonful of Chewiness has you collect five Dictaphora. These can be gathered around Windmill's Perch area. Fun side note, if you have accepted the Elton Daily's Energy Mushrooms and the item Sell for Money, these can be done at the same time, making it easy to do both Mountain of Eternal Winter and Elton Daily's at the same time. Once collected, it's time to head up to Awena's Tail. Here in Awena's Tail, there are three dailies here that can be done around the area. Accepting Wind Strengthening Defenses requires you to chop down 10 cedar logs. The other means of cedar trees needs 5 cedar sap. The last daily here is Annoying Buggers here, which requires you to kill 5 marmots. Heading out the east gate provides enough cedar trees and marmots to kill. After they are completed and turned in, it's time to head south to Aretha's Belt. Here taking the daily get those small fish thieves will require 10 frost-tailed weasels this time. These are around the area, but it is a short trek away. Once completed, it's time to head south to the highlands for the daily Need Some Goat Meat. This daily wants you to hunt 10 snowfield markhor from the highlighted area. After they're hunted and turned in, we have to head east to the villa. The next two dailies are here at Charbonneau Villa. Plentiful pristine platter here needs you to fish one Amore Eyed, and fishing for what's missing needs one Korean Loach. Both of these fish can be found at the stream here. Once fished up, we're gonna head down south to Camp Palax. Here in the camp, you will take the daily just a rock. This requires you to kill three snowflake stoneback crabs. These can be found on the location marked on your map. Once killed, simply head back and complete. We're gonna head to the derelict trade post here to accept the daily bear hide decor. Hold on to this so we can do this one later. Head up north here to the Shrine of Silent Prayers. There is yet another hunting daily here called Yearly Custom. This has you hunt 10 frost wolves here in the nearby area. After hunting all the wolves and turning in the daily, we're gonna head down south to the Sherikin Iron Mines. Coming down south here to the Sherikin Iron Mines are two hunting dailies that can be done close by. Need some thick hide here wants you to hunt five wild snowfield yaks, and a gift for father needs you to hunt five wild black snowfield yaks. Starting with the bear will remove the constant death trap from killing you while hunting the yaks. After killing all the yaks and the bear, it's time to turn them all in. It doesn't matter which order you turn them in since the next location is Tory Woods here. 
Accepting the daily how much more to fish just has you head to the location on the map and fish up Marnie's lab data. Once the paper is fished up and turned in, it's time to head up north to the mountain top guard post. Here's the daily cedar tree for firewood. This needs 10 snowfield cedar timber logs. These can be gathered just down the path here. After completing the daily, it's on to the last and final daily in Bronte's Bolt here. Mayors has the daily Jaded Fortunes, which has you go to the Jade Cave here in the Mountain of Eternal Winter. Along the way, try not to get caught on a mob or they will one-shot you. Once here at the cave, just mine some jade and head back. Completing this daily will finish all the life skilling portion of the Mountain of Eternal Winter dailies. At the end, all of this has rewarded us with a total of 6,200 contribution points, 20 oxidor crystals, and 4 10G gold bars. Doing these dailies can be done fast and easy, making this perfect for increasing contribution points. This can be done while doing the Hilton dailies, further speeding up how much contribution experience you can gain during a day. I've been doing these and it's been easy collecting contribution points. Just by doing these and the Hilton dailies usually earns one point in two days or less, so you should definitely check these out. If you want to check out another guide instead, Click this video here and I will see you in another Black Desert Online Guide.